As politicians wrangled over how best to avert a financial collapse in Cyprus, people in the island nation waited in long queues to withdraw their money from cash machines. After the European Central Bank threatened to withdraw crucial funding, the crisis took a geopolitical dimension due to the number of Russian people and companies that use Cypriot banks. Cyprus is a major, or actually the major offshore financial centre for Russia um, due to uh, a number of tax treaties and just the fact that Russians have, have used Cyprus for, for the last you know, 20 years, ever since the end of communism, um, as, a, as a place to do deals. Uh, some billions of dollars in Russian banking deposits are kept in Cyprus. Um, the, the, the island is used as a, as a jurisdiction to register a lot of Russian businesses. Um, dividends are paid through Cyprus because the, 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 the tax treatment is favorable. Um, so, the, so Cyprus is just sort of at the center of a whole lot of Russian financial arrangements. And it's not just Russia. Several other countries have interests in Cyprus and are watching developments closely too. The island lies very close to uh, a combustible region, the Middle East, and itself is divided between the Greek Cypriot South and the Turkish Cypriot North, and the North is occupied by thousands of Turkish troops. And then the discovery of what appear to be very large gas reserves in Cypriot oil, uh, Cypriot waters that are disputed, whose ownership is disputed, adds an extra dimension to this. You have the US Sixth Fleet, which is the largest naval presence in the Mediterranean. You have British bases, uh, two of them on the island of Cyprus. You have a very large uh, interest in what's going on from Israel, which has allied itself with Cyprus in energy development. Greece is watching it, Turkey is watching it. It goes well beyond Russia. The financial dangers are big too. Europe doesn't want Cyprus to fail, nor does it want it to leave the Eurozone. But the Cypriot business model, which is built on loose regulation and attracting foreign money with low taxes, is at odds with the rest of the Eurozone. I think that having an election in, in Germany, it's less than six months away, means that it is sensitive, that the political parties right across the board are adamant that there cannot be German taxpayers' money put up to support what they would describe as an unsustainable business model. And they say the business model in Cyprus is unsustainable. It relies on low taxation and money coming in from Russia that's avoiding high taxes, and it's simply too big for the countries to sustain. Now, they certainly don't want to see uh, riots on the streets of Cyprus. What they do want to see is reality dawning in Cyprus that actually an overinflated banking system simply cannot be sustained. Cyprus historically is not a country that has identified itself as fully European. This is a very, very recent development. It only joined the EU in 2004. God knows why they ever let it into the Eurozone when the risks were well clear to uh, central bankers and politicians in 2007. The, the, the special situation that Cyprus is in because of its location so close to Israel, Turkey, and with its unusually close connection with Russia. This makes it a very different situation. It, uh, it requires very careful handling by uh, European policymakers. Cyprus finds itself in a position similar to Ireland and Iceland when those two countries fell into crisis. Its banking system is around eight times larger than the national economy, its two biggest banks are effectively insolvent, and the debt is unsustainable and the desperate lengths that Cyprus has gone to to find help from Russia suggests Russian influence over Cyprus in the long term will be unusually large for a Eurozone country. Daniel Garahan, Financial Times.